All right, so I went out hitting more targets today, further away from my house. Uh, approximately the first target I hit was about 15 miles away from my house. That's the farthest I've gone. And then the next target to follow was an additional seven miles away. So uh, let's look at what we saw, what we found. Yeah, I'm at another target. I'm going to try it again. It's Thursday, by the way, October 11th. I'm about 15 miles away from uh, my house. It's the furthest target I've hit. And there's another target about seven miles further than this. I'm going to hit that one, too. And I think that's all I have uh, stamina for for today. So we'll see what happens. Same old shit. There's another Batman. Not that I'm interested in that. Yeah, there's nothing here. It's pretty well picked over. Nothing here I'm interested in. So as you can see from the first target, there was, uh, well, pretty much a standard fare. You guys know what I'm talking about. Same old figures, Norm. Um, the girl from Charmed, I don't know her name, you know, there was a, uh, Fonzie, uh, that I, I found a check off at that one. Uh, you know, the same figures that nobody wants, the same figures you're going to find out anywhere until I got to the next target. Let's see what we found there. Oh yeah. See, I got the tree in my mirror so my car won't smell. See that? Skies are blue today. A few cotton ball clouds out there. But you know what? Finally feels like fall. It's uh, I think 47 degrees as you can see down there. It's actually quite nice. All right. Yeah, they're blowing a the horn at you. They're telling you, get the hell out of the way. All right. Let's go see. Well, let's try to have a little fun out of it. You know, I, I got to stop getting so uptight about it. Nothing I can do. I, I'm not going to change the price of tea in China. So, yeah. All right, see you in a bit. Well, this target had nothing either. So, the lady said she hasn't got a shipment of Wave 2 in. Well, that's not exactly true. She didn't say that. She said she had one crate come in. I'm guessing she meant box. She was a Spanish lady. So, I guess I deduced she meant a box. And she took me to a different part of the store where they had the, um, the Wizard of Oz box set. Dorothy and the, the Witch. So, now that's another weird thing is both of these targets are stocking Mego in different places. In the store, on an end cap, and in the middle of the aisle where the DC and Marvel stuff is at. So there's no rhyme or reason. Yeah, so I grabbed a, um, up high, it said 8-inch uh, Mego figures, $14.99. Right below it, it said 8-inch Mego figure, $12.99. So I grabbed the three of them. I scanned one, it said $14.99, and I scanned two more, it said $12.99. So who knows what the hell's going on there. I mean, left hand don't know what the right hand's doing, let's be honest. Anyway, I did manage to pick up some cool things that I uh, hadn't seen at a Target. Like, I know that uh, Tar Target was supposed to stock NECA exclusively. Well, I've been looking, and they've had uh, Jason. I don't want Jason. was never a fan of that movie. But, you know, I just found the Predator, which is cool. We're going to have a look at that back when we get to the Wolf Den. And uh, I did pick up that Godzilla. He looks pretty cool. And uh, something from Walgreens earlier, too. We'll have a look at that when we get, get back. So, see you then.
All right, what do you say we have a look at the things that I actually did find in my hunt today? I picked this up at Walgreens. Not that you guys are probably interested in that. I am. I collect premium Hot Wheels. I really like these Hot Wheels. This is a metal chassis, metal body, um, real, real riders, meaning rubber wheels. Uh, this is the 1961 Ford GT Rage. Very nice car in that line. I have been looking at that. Who knew that I'd find it hanging at a Walgreens? You know, the piece of advice here is stay out of uh, retail stores. Just go to Walgreens for your collectibles. Anyway, I did reviews on these, uh, some of these already. Uh, I actually regretted, I saw her the day I bought the other two, the Trick or Treaters and uh, Jack the Pumpkin King. And then I went back and it was gone. Well, I serviced Walgreens, so I checked again and, at this different Walgreens, and they had this. So I'll be reviewing Sally and Mummy Boy from Diamond Select. I'm guessing these are only at Walgreens. So, yeah, it says right there, NBX Walgreens. Right there. Now, the second target that I went to today, I lost my footage. Shame on me, amateur rookie. Anyway, I found the NECA Predator Fugitive, which we're going to actually open and have a look at. Very cool. Very cool indeed. I think he was like $24.99. I'll have to check my receipt to be uh, honest with that. I, I need to get better at that, looking at prices before I just go to the self-checkout. But anyway, be cool to take a look at that. And then this is something that I really, really enjoy. I like Godzilla. It takes you back to a kid when I was Saturday afternoon when there's nothing to do. And you sat around and you watched the old Japanese movies with the English overdubs. You know, ah, yeah, Godzilla. You know. So, yeah. Anyway, this is from the 2014 film. I actually watched it. Somebody recommended it to me. Um, Goyira. That's... Japanese for Godzilla, and uh, I had to read the movie because it was made in Japan, but this Godzilla was pretty damn wicked, so this is the atomic Godzilla, so we're going to crack this open, and we're going to have a look at it, you know, and because, wow, this figure is heavy, this is a NECA figure, This they classify this as a 12 inch, and it's kind of a, a cheating thing, you know, they say 12 inch, they mean from the tip of his nose, to the very end of his tail. So, mm, you know, take that for what it's worth. But, uh, yeah, this is the Shin Godzilla Atomic Blast. And you see he's got a little port there in his mouth. And you've got some Atomic Blast coming out. So, we're going to carve this open. And, uh, right now. And we're just going to have a look. Keep my trusty Stanley carpet knife close at hand. Just don't cut my ribs open while I'm at it. So, package well. You see Tokyo in the background there. Wow, you can you can smell the paint on that, you know. Also, they give you extra of the atomic blast. These things port into his mouth. Oh, you gotta love wire ties. And I didn't bring my trusty cutters today, but I do have my knife, so. That'll do it. And, uh... There. And on these Godzillas, I only own one more, and it's a 1954 Godzilla. You have to attach their tails. Uh, because then the package would be adding a lot of money to the cost. Mm, we don't want that. Come on. What is this? Boy, you know, the time I deal with wire ties, I should always have a pair of wire cutters to go with it. Yeah, wow. Let's get his tail snapped on here. Wow, that is a heavy figure. And a great looking figure, if I might add. I might have to add some heat to this, but... I don't know. Let's 
I got to heat this up. So yeah, I had to heat that tail up to uh, get that to slide onto that giant ball joint. So yeah, I mean, this is actually bigger than a 12 inch figure. I guess I didn't read the box. That's more like 14, 14 inches. Lots of joints in this tail, you know? So, hey, quite a bit of articulation. And that being said, let's go through his articulation. Now, this movie, when Godzilla, I'm not going to do any spoilers here. Other than the fact that the Godzilla, when it first emerges from the ocean, it's not like any Godzilla that you've ever seen before. In fact, it's downright creepy. So you have to watch the movie. So yeah, let's go through the articulation. I mean, the paint looks fantastic. It's a nice display piece. It displays very well. So yeah, okay. You can uh, do this to the head. That's uh, your kind of neck movement. Well, you don't have much neck movement. I mean, it'll it'll, it'll swivel, but uh, not much of a pivot. I mean, it's got a giant ball joint in it, but yeah, it's not going to pivot. No, and there's no movement on the jaw. You do have like that torso movement there and it does move to stay but side to side but not forward and backwards nothing there and uh you can pivot it a little bit but then these scaled platelets will start to look a little goofy and the arms let's see here what do the arms do they will move a little bit but you don't get much more oh well it does have a joint in the elbow that's kind of nice See this? That's kind of cool. And uh, you have at the hip. Of course, it rotates, and that's about it. And then on the knee, it'll swivel. And, of course, the ankle has a ball joint, too. So you get a rotation all the way around. And not much up and down, but there is some, as you can see. If the proportions look odd on this Godzilla, it's because that's exactly the way the new Godzilla looked in the Japanese produced film. Keep going here. Of course, you have this monster tail, which was uh, one hell of a weapon in the movie. And you have another joint here. And then another joint there. These are all ball jointed. One there. And of course, one here like so and uh, nothing down here but you do get some nice movement on that so yeah and this is called the atomic blast because it comes with these if you watch the movie you'll know what this is just nothing but destruction coming out of his mouth and they pour it right in there really nice and it will display fantastic Great looking Godzilla. Fantastic Godzilla. Very nice. And the platelets are actually quite soft. They're pliable, so they won't hurt you. The 1954 Godzilla, I mean, everything on that, I mean, it's quite movable. But it, the tail wasn't this long. And if you know what the 1954 Godzilla looked like, and it was black and white, the figure was also done in that monochrome black and white. But these platelets were quite hard, and in fact, if you hit them just right, they will hurt you. So anyway, so yeah, he stands well, from what I can see, thanks to this big monster tail, and uh, he can uh, really destroy my gaming laptop if I want him to. He can stand up there and really put the atomic blast on it. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, who knew that I would find this before I found a $12.99 Amigo figure? By the way, speaking of the price of the $12.99 cent Amigo figure, I think once you find the ones you want, and I don't care which ones you're interested in, I think the value is there even at $14.99. You, you get a lot. I reviewed a lot of Hasbro Marvel Legends. I got to the point where I refused to buy any more Marvel Legends from Hasbro. In fact, Hasbro anything, that's all garbage. I'm tired of opening those packages and seeing 
loose joints. I mean, $21 on average for those figures. And uh, the quality uh, of the uh, construction is absolute junk. I, I, I'm not buying any more Marvel Legends or anything from Hasbro. So, you know, they can kiss my you-know-what. Okay, value. This Godzilla was $19.99. This is a NECA. There's a lot here. There's a great paint. The joints are nice and tight. You saw the size of that ball joint. That ball joint is massive. Well, that's what Godzilla is throughout. There's a lot of value here for $19.99. Now, getting back to the uh, Mego figures, there's a lot of value there. I reviewed a few of them now. And uh, side by side, quality is far superior than anything Hasbro put out in the last seven years. Hasbro has gotten so used to putting something out and having collectors just come and buy it because, oh, because it's a $22 collectible. You know? No, I, I'm not buying into that. You know, I did. You don't get me wrong. Oh, well, someday I'll show you all of the Toy Biz Marvel Legends I have, and those figures were phenomenal. But, and, you know, uh, phenomenal and far superior than the Hasbro of today. From the sculpt, the paint, the tightness of the joints, just the quality that went into manufacturing them. Far superior. And they were $6.99 just back in 2006 before Toy Biz folded. Maybe that's part of the reason why they folded. They were giving you so much for your money. Anyway, I'm rambling. Now, another value is $24.99. Every time I open up a NECA figure, I am pleased with how tight the joints are. And the beautiful paintwork and, and the parts that they give you, the alternate heads, the alternate anything. They, they spare no expense on their paint and their sculpt. And everything is fit and fiddle. And uh, you know what? Good value. See how this is 2 or $3 more than uh, Marvel Legends uh, from Hasbro or Star Wars Black Series from Hasbro? And this is a, what they classify as a 7-inch figure. You get a lot of value here. And, uh, yeah. One of these days, I'll have to actually share with you my Alien Predator collection. Now, these are $14.99. As a diamond select, so you know you're going to get a pretty good value and a good paint job. But due to the line of toys itself, which is the Nightmare Before Christmas. By the way, this is celebrating the 25th year anniversary of that. The joints on these things are going to be dainty, as uh, I reviewed earlier in the Pumpkin King. Got to be careful with those joints. I mean, it's like toothpicks he's walking on, let's be honest. So, yeah. But anyway, we're not going to get into this one today. It is October, so spooky stuff galore. That's nice. But uh, I'll save this one for maybe tomorrow. And I'm going to wrap this video up. And, uh, God, I hope you guys enjoyed my journey today. Um, I was a little heated at first, then I uh, got a hold of myself and said, you know, it's not the end of the world, nothing you can do about it. So, I don't want to get so frustrated over just about nothing. They're toys. You've got to have fun. All right, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Howl them up out.